Today's video is going to be dedicated to nurses, um, mainly new graduate nurses, but if you're an experienced nurse or if you are in nursing school currently, you're going to be able to take away a lot of tips from this video. I wanted to explain to you guys why I decided to quit my job as a new graduate nurse. Already, just make sure that you stop and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of my upcoming videos at the end of this video i want you guys to like and comment below if you guys have any questions why i just wanted to give you guys an experience um or just kind of tell you guys about my experience while within my previous position i will not go into specifics on which hospital let alone the unit i was on just because i'm going to stick to being professional so I am going to, you know, leave that out, but I will kind of try to give you guys as much detail as I can on what led me to my decision. Um, so yeah, starting off, I, you know, during the orientation phase, I was very open to learning. I was excited. I mean, I feel like all new grads of last year definitely were excited to start their positions due to COVID. It was so many job freezes. So we all were grateful, honestly, to have a job. Um, if you got a job or had a job lined up after graduation, like you were lucky because of so many hospitals that were not hiring due to COVID happening. So they couldn't do, everyone had to figure everything out. So it definitely was hard to get within a hospital. So yeah, I went into this position just very grateful for the opportunity um, to be a nurse within the unit. And I was ready, I was ready to learn. Um, different techniques, a uh, little bit of background about me. I was a student nurse within the ER, um, which was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. If you don't know which field of nursing you want to go into, I would recommend getting into the ER. Um, for starters, that is definitely a great place to start out with if you can. But other than that, um, I had a little hands-on with adults um, from student nursing, so I was okay you know, getting into that field, but my specialty of choice was always neonatal. Um, I wanted to work in the NICU, um, always wanted to be a NICU nurse. Um, but again, I was open to other things because that is a very competitive field to get into. And initially I came in and I was happy, I was excited. Um, and I wanna say I was very, I was observing everyone, if that makes a lot of sense. Like I was very observative, I just felt like my personality kind of was like, okay, I'm going to sit back and watch how everything flows in this unit. Because again, as a student nurse, I was very involved in my student nurse position. But during that position, I, you know, knew I was coming to a different place in a different field. So I was like, okay, let me just sit back and see their flow of things because I am somewhere new. I am a new graduate nurse, even though I was a student nurse there. Um, I wasn't a registered nurse. So, you know, I'm going to see how their registered nurses here work. So during that time, I was just, you know, watching everything, watching everyone. And I honestly was listening. That was very important um, and critical during my, you know, decision-making process on whether to stay or leave. I was listening to what other nurses had to say as far as their judgment on the unit, what they had to say about communication between, you know, providers and themselves or just communication in the whole. Um, and I also was observing the flow of the unit and the teamwork, which Teamwork is probably one of the most important things as far as it goes for me because I came from, you know, the ER that had great teamwork. Like some people are okay not, you know, being or having good teamwork, but for me, guys, nursing is such an intimate position. It's an intimate job. We don't have a desk job, you know, like it's teamwork. It's driven on teamwork. You are constantly, constantly talking to different people within, you know, the field so you have to talk to pharmacists other nurses doctors you know just just everyone so you have to be a good team player for me um and i have to be a part of a unit that has great teamwork um for me to be happy i was again just open to learning like the new techniques from the unit and you know just excited to be a new nurse um basically what led me to know that this wasn't the unit for me was I, after about like 30 days, I would say after like my first month, I kind of just had a conversation with myself 
and I was like, I'm not passionate about the population. I'm trying to say this in the most politically correct way. I'm not passionate about patient population um, that was within this unit, if that makes sense. I don't think if a nurse isn't passionate or even has interest in a certain type of field um, and they have passion about something else, they should at least try to be within a field that you're going to be passionate about or at least you have interest in. Um, so once I started to see what kind of patients were you know, in and out of this unit, I ultimately decided that this is not something that I'm passionate about. I don't see a future for myself within this level, you know, care. It was a lot of wound care, which unfortunately um, I'm not really, you know, huge on. I mean, some people, they love it. Like I've met some nurses, like they love wounds. And you have some that don't, you know, it's different strokes for different folks. So that just is not a passion of mine. Um, but I did my job to my best ability, of course, every day. I never let my opinion reflect on my job, um, let alone my, you know, care to patients. I never let it reflect on that. I still went into every room trying to, you know, give the best level of care, the highest quality of care to all of my patients, regardless of what their diagnosis was or what they came in for. Um, that's just the type of person I am and the type of nurse I am. Um, but I knew like long term that this is not, I don't see a future in this. So that's how I ultimately, you know, came to the decision that I probably should explore opportunities. That's when my interest in other opportunities started to come around. And then also to add in, I wanna be a part of a successful team. So if the teamwork isn't there, I unfortunately cannot be there. And of course, um, you know, every job you go to is not going to be perfect. I know that. And I'm not expecting that. Um, it, I just ultimately said that it wasn't, you know, a place that I would see myself fitting in. And it was hard for me to decide to quit because I'm not one of a quitter. I'm like very stubborn. I'm a Taurus. I am not one of a quitter. But... I was like, it's so many issues occurring that it's probably best for me to just take myself out of it because these problems that are occurring seem unfixable on my level, you know, and being as though, again, it's not a um, field of nursing that I was passionate about. It would be hard for me to, you know, have that drive in me or ambition in me to you know, want to fix those things. So again, I just, you know, made the decision and said that I'm not going to settle within this unit because a lot of nurses do do that. Um, and if you have done that or you're doing it currently and that works for you, that works for you. But as far as it goes for me, um, I'm not one of a settler. So I knew that my calling was, yeah, I'll call it, I knew my calling was within another unit. Um, from working in the ER, I like adrenaline. I like fast pace. Um, I'm not very fond of downtime, but if there is downtime, I'll take it. But I like to actually work when I'm at work. I like intervening. I like immediate intervention. I like action. Like that's the kind of things that I like. Um, and that's what honestly keeps me interested in my job. So I knew I needed to be in a unit where I was going to be constantly challenged and constantly learning. Um, so yes, during this orientation phase, I felt like this um, was going to start to be like muscle memory. And again, I just, that's not the kind of nurse I am. Um, so again, that's how I knew it was time. I basically assessed myself. Well, lastly, I assessed myself. Um, I assessed my abilities and what I know that I'm capable of and capable of not doing. Um, I also, again, had a long talk with myself about where do I want to be long term or within the next year or two, all of the things I wanted to, you know, have like checked off of my to do list or, you know, my achievements and goals. And I didn't feel as though this place fit within that. So, again, ultimately, it was my decision to resign from it. Um, and again, I'm very happy with my choice and I did it in the most professional way that I could. Other than that, um, as far as escalating it to management or how to approach 
you know, your management about it, especially for new grads, this is very like hard for them. Um, and again, I'm not going to act like it was a breeze for me, but it had to happen, of course. I mean, I had another opportunity, but I'll get to that. But as far as that goes, um, during my orientation phase, when I did see that, or when I did start to have an idea of it, I spoke to another nurse about it. She kind of gave me advice on how to go about it. And I spoke to, um, not management initially, but I spoke to, who did I speak to? For Escalated, you know, most places have like open door policy. So you can speak to anyone that you feel comfortable speaking to about it. But I, you know, basically just let her know how I feel. I was very open and honest about it. Um, I think that you should try to be as transparent as you can with the unit if you are unhappy or not unhappy because I don't want to say I was like miserable there. I don't want anyone to think I was miserable there. I just was not satisfied if that makes sense. Um, so I did reach out and speak with, um, had a meeting with them and I let them know how I was feeling and they were so honestly, she was, she was very understanding and I um, love that she was like, that was great for her in that position to be very understanding. And she did to her best ability for me that um, what she could, she was so sweet about it and open to me about it um, and understanding, which was the best thing for a new graduate in a new position to have at that time. Um, Cause nobody wants to go into anybody and say, Oh, I don't like my job. You know, can you, move me somewhere else or something so um essentially after that the decision was um all right we're going to try to have me shadow and you know possibly transfer to another unit but unfortunately that was unable to happen due to me not being there um, a certain amount of time for me to be able to transfer to a different unit so okay um you know that's kind of out of my control but i did continue to seek other opportunities um within the specialty that I had interest in, as well as around the specialty I had interest in. If you're interested in NICU, apply to l &D jobs, apply to mother baby jobs, apply to jobs around it. Because if you can't get into NICU, you know, something similar to it is going to be good enough. But yeah, so I applied to jobs um, surrounding the field that I'm interested in mostly um, also. So I did that and I randomly um, received a call back from a job that I honestly did not think I was qualified for. Well, not qualified. <laughs> I did not think I would get. But again, that just, you know, happened to be God's plan. So that's where everything, you know, all tied in for me and started to work out for me. So ultimately I resigned from my job. I received that opportunity and that's where I'm at today. Um, and I'm extremely excited about it and I can't wait to start like I'm happy I'm happy with my decision and honestly once I you know put in my resignation letter everyone was very like because I know some people might feel like intimidated or this might be like an awkward time for them if you are feeling like um you want to resign from your job it might feel awkward to do all of this um or out of the norm especially if this is your your first professional job it's um not for me so that might be why i was able to handle it a little better but i'm not going to act like i was numb what you know had like that feeling or like that awkwardness um occur but it was a little smoother for me to do everything um but yeah as far as it went for me uh everyone was open to my decision and they were happy for me um i never got like any pushback from my decision if that you know makes sense they did try to keep me within the hospital, um, within the same current position. But again, if I have a job offer within or close to the specialty that I want to be in, why would I, you know, continue to work in a field where I'm not satisfied, don't feel challenged um, for much longer? You know, it's just I weighed out my pros and cons and there was more pros in this other opportunity um, than it was at my uh, previous one. So yes, what's next for me guys, I received a job at a cardiac intensive care unit. Yes, so a CICU. I'm going to be a CICU nurse and I say that like so proudly and so gratefully and I'm just so excited. I honestly can't believe it. Um, 
I still can't believe it. Guys, I've already started there also. Um, and I still can't believe it. Like, wow, I'm on site there. I'm just like, wow, like I really work here. I can't believe it. But yes, I um, will be working as a cardiac ICU nurse. So guys, if you do want any videos on tips or suggestions to help you when navigating through how to get an ICU position, either as a new graduate um, or as an experienced nurse, just let me know and I'll make a video because I did take a lot of notes during the time um, and I remember some kind of like the questions um, that they asked as well as what I did to prepare myself for the interviews. It was a very intense interview process. So if you guys do want a video on that, just make sure that you do comment below that you want to see that video and I will record one for you guys. Um, but yeah, other than that, just, just some takeaways. I want everyone to take away from this, um, new graduate or not. Just make sure that you, um, in any new position that you get, make sure that you are observing others, uh, listening to the conversation and make sure that you do what's best for you. Do whatever's going to make you happy because at the end of the day, that's what's most important. You do not want to settle within a unit. Um, that's ultimately in the long run going to make you miserable and make you feel unhappy. Not to say that I was miserable or unhappy currently, but I knew long term it probably would get there. And I wanted to stop the process before it got to that point. Um, because again, that's just the type of person I am. I've always been like a jumper type of person. So it was easier for me to do that. But again, I think that a lot of nurses, um, well, not a lot. But I think some nurses will get into a position that they are unhappy with um, or they say like, oh, my job makes me miserable and they don't seek other opportunities or they continue to work within that position. And ultimately, that's going to reflect in your care. That's going to reflect in the level of care that you give your patients. How do you expect to give high quality care to any of your patients um, if you feel miserable while you're at work? So again, I think that's, you know, down the road that's going to be very unsafe for you to do to continue to do so if you feel unhappy about it um try to voice it to management escalate the issue and try to find a resolution within the hospital that you're in or unit that you're in and if you can't resolve the issue seek other employment um in a position where you think that you will be happy with and even if you're not happy with it i at least say i always say like okay I don't need to be happy with a job. I need to at least be okay with it. So if you're not okay with your job, then there's a problem. And I think you should seek other opportunities. Um, as far as nursing goes, again, it's very intimate. You need a lot of teamwork. So if you are miserable, that will reflect in your team. If you, you know, it'll reflect, it'll just, it, it's contagious. Like misery is, I feel like it's contagious. So if you come to work like that, it's going to reflect in your work, your patience, like everything. So just try to avoid that at all costs um and just remember to keep yourself first keep your mental health first like that is most important um yeah so that's all the tips i have for you guys today i hope this video was not too long and i didn't drag things out too much but in the future i might post more videos on nursing again just let me know below if you guys do want that i see you interview prep youtube and i will definitely work on posting that See you guys later.